YouTube, it's your girl Sophia from RSVP and DakotaAnia.blogspot.com. Today is going to be a really interesting video because it's about a few different things. I wanted to thank all of my subscribers that recently joined my channel because I hit 500. Yay! Um, I also wanted to do a follow-up to the last video that I shot, which was Bling on the New Year, uh, where I talked about a special item that I was making to wear to a party on December 26th. So, unfortunately, I was out of time and couldn't shoot a video on the night that I was actually going out, which is what I wanted to do the outfit of the night for you for. Um, so, I didn't shoot a video then, so what I'm going to do is just do a follow up to that video and show you the item that I made and the outfit that I wore and I'm going to also show you a few options for New Year's just to give you some ideas. So I also have a special co-host today. This is Kobe. Kobe was a Christmas gift to my niece. I'm babysitting her today. Say hi Kobe. Um, so if you want to see the item that I made for that special all black affair December 26th and you want to see some options that are really good for New Year's stick around I'll be right back okay so I'm back and I just wanted to show you the item that I worked on that I made by hand and here it is okay not everybody is gonna like this item it's very very over the top um, but it's something I definitely wanted to try out and basically what I did was I went to Value Village I bought a knit hooded sweater I cut the hood off and then by hand I sewed over 200 beads onto this hood. Um, I put a few Swarovski crystals um, in some spaces on the top but not all the way through. And then um, on the edge where I had cut it, I covered it up with some bias tape, some satin bias tape. So this is the hood. It's pretty crazy. It's uh, what I came up with to wear with an all black outfit. I wanted something that stood out, um, not your average accessory. And so I've been wanting to make this for a really, really, really long time. Um, so it took me probably around, I would say like 13, 14 hours altogether. But I did it in three different sessions where I worked for, you know, three or four hours at a time on it. So it's pretty crazy. So just wanted to give you a close up of that and I will be back with this on and the completed outfit. Okay guys, so I'm back with a shot of the hood um, and the way that I wore it out to this black affair party on the 26th. So there's two, three snaps that I put right down here so that I could close the hood, which is sort of the way that I wore it when I was walking into the party. Um, no wind can get in here. It was really, really great on my ears. Um, and then I'm going to turn around and do a shot of the back for you. So as you can see, the whole thing lays down really, really flat. And that's because of the weight of it, because of all the beads. Um, and then also, if you wanted to take the hood off inside the party or just pull it down, you have the option of wearing it like this. And that's where it really, really... Uh, comes in as a unique accessory because you could be wearing a tank top, you could be wearing a long sleeve tee, you could be wearing basically any type of top, even a dress, and just attach it at the back. So it's really, really, really cool. And um, so that's the way that I wore it in. And then when I was inside, I unhooked it. And so I'll just try it on for you one more time. Um, and I sort of wore it just a little bit back on my head like that and it's really really heavy as I said because of the beads So that's sort of how I wore it while I was dancing and getting down in the club. So that's a close-up on the hood um, Again, not everybody's gonna like it. It's really my style something unique and out there I wasn't afraid to take a risk and try something new um, it, it can be custom ordered. I actually did get two orders on the hood already um, so thanks for that. Um, so I'll be back with the completed outfit and your options for New Year's Eve. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is the completed outfit um, that I wore to the All Black Affair. So obviously the hood was the most extravagant part of the outfit. So I wanted to keep everything else really, really simple. I'm filming a different way today so I hope you guys can see it. I'm wearing a very basic black tee. Uh, v-neck t-shirt from BCBG um, then I paired that with a 
basic Hervé Leger black banded skirt. Um, I got it on sale. Probably I spent around two hundred or three hundred dollars for it, and it was originally like seven ninety five. So that's the skirt. And then I wanted to show you my boots. My boots are also Hervé Leger, and um, these were the two thousand nine collection. They have lots of, sorry about the camera, and, oh my god, girlfriend, careful. So they have chains and snake detail. Oh my god, Kobe's going crazy. And so again, opaque tights, a simple Hervé Leger black skirt, and black t-shirt. And I'll be back with the final two New Year's options. Alright, so the second last outfit I wanted to show you was a New Year's option. It's a simple black dress option. This dress is a dress by Max Azria. So it's a black, um, it's not satin dress. It's like a crepe material. It has a little bit of satin on the shoulders and lots of satin detail in the back. I'll go ahead and show you that. Hopefully you could see it. But it's a short uh, cocktail dress and I paired it with a pair of opaque pewter silver color tights and a pair of black ankle boots that have a little bit of um, stones or bead jeweling around the corner. So that is a New Year's option um, and I could have went with a super high stiletto heel but I like to be really comfortable if I'm going to a party and I want to dance for a long time so I chose a heel that was maybe around three inches instead of a super high five inch heel for me. Okay, so this is the last um, New Year's option I wanted to show you. It's a sparkly number from BCBG's Ready to Wear collection. Um, I think New Year's is like the perfect time to get away with wearing a full sequin dress or lots and lots of sequins or bling. New Year's is the perfect night to do that. So um, that's why I'm going to do this dress, which is a shift dress that they do every season, all in sequins. So because it's a shift dress, it has no shape, so you definitely have to belt it if you want to emphasize your waist. I did it with some bangles that I picked up last season at H&M. Um, I kept on the opaque tights in, in pewter, but I would change them to black. And then I also did an ankle boot with a hidden platform. So this is a really good option for a clubbing or party scene for New Year's Eve. Um, the color and the sequins are really, really, really festive. Um, so that's pretty much it. I gave you a black cocktail dress, a sequin number, and my outfit from the All Black Affair. So thanks again to all my subscribers um, who've been tuning in and people that have inv invited me to be a friend. I just wanted to say thanks, and I'll see you guys next week.